Officer Mustafa Madbouli held a press conference following a cabinet meeting in the new administrative capital, which tackled a number of political, economic and social files, as well as the latest developments on the international stage and repercussions of the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouri held a press conference following a cabinet meeting in the new administrative capital on Tuesday, during which he said the government had succeeded in taking concrete steps according to the state ownership program. The Premier noted that the state focuses on boosting the private sector to lead the development process and secure hard currency. He highlighted that the government had amended the investment law according to investors' needs, adding that all investment projects are enjoying incentives both after and before amending the law. The Prime Minister said the government had extended the establishment of investment companies working in energy to nine years, and that industrial activities would have a special incentive reaching 55% from income tax. According to Madburi, amendments in competition securing law and all procedures needed to facilitate actions for investors were finalized. Earlier, the cabinet meeting headed by Madbouli was held to follow up on measures taken to implement the directions of President Sisi in the fields of investment, industry, exports, monitoring markets and social solidarity umbrella. The meeting discussed a number of political, economic and social files as well as the latest developments on the international stage and repercussions of the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Governmental initiatives and a number of measures related to increasing the involvement of the private sector in economic activities also topped the agenda of the meeting. It tackled laws and ministerial decisions aiming to trigger a renaissance on all levels and achieve economic and social stability. The meeting further focused on attracting investments and following up on the completion of various national projects across governments, including the presidential initiative Decent Life designed to develop villages and the countryside. Minister of Defense and Military Production Mohammed Zeki held a meeting with a number of Special Forces fighters under the leadership of Parachutes Forces on Tuesday. The minister conveyed uh, greetings of President Abdel Fattah Sisi to the Special Forces who are distinguished with their professional methods to perform the tasks they are entrusted with hailing their role in protecting the nation and safeguarding its capabilities. Minister Zeki further noted that the Special Forces had achieved unprecedented an unprecedented leap in promoting fighting methods to maintain their high skills. He held an open discussion with the attendees to review the latest developments in the region as well as Egypt's security and stability, among other various issues. The meeting took place within the framework of periodic meetings of the Armed Forces Central Command, which are aimed at unifying concepts towards issues and topics related to the Armed Forces. The meeting shed light on the Special Forces fighters' relentless efforts and determination to protect the nation's capabilities, as well as a full support by the Armed Forces to its men to perform their tasks accurately and skillfully.